tutorial about exercise 1 exercise 1 we are having the excel exercise 1 several uh, parts actually first part is called basics second part is called intermediate third part is called the advanced this is the way we design this exercise one by one each question we will see first question what is the first question set height of row 1 to 30 row 1 row 1 to 30 what is the meaning here the row 1 row 1 is first row this row i want to change what row height as 30 this is what my question is so one minute here i will do this is my row 1 so first what you do if you come row 1 means go here please see my cursor in the one click here like this so go here and one click it it become green color now right click your mouse right click your mouse you can see row height clear row height now changes what changes 30 3 0 like this okay and again i will tell now it is increased go on click here don't click here here and all click here right click row height changes whatever number we ask this is question number one point number one so next question what is the next question next question they ask us this is set width of column a to 30 column width to 30 clear so this is what we want to do so column width what is column width this is this one if they say row means row column means column what we do i'll select this column entire column will select so whenever they say column a where is a if you say b column means b here like this don't select here like this so this is called column select a same method right click column width column width as what what they given column width as they said column width is equal to 38 38 38 clear so hope you understood if you select row means here column means like this right click here also column width automatically it will come column width if you select this one automatically come row height are you understanding so this is what the method we do next one insert what is the next question they are asking is insert here you see insert one column before worker name and type worker number before this one before this one what i want to add i want to add one more column that name is what worker number how you insert the columns here that's another question so i want to insert mean first i should select here select always you select means go on click here a column here right click insert insert is coming can you see insert can you see automatically before it will go so now what i'll do is worker number so this is what my column name worker number here i can say worker number this is called name box in excel try to understand this is called name box in the name box we can see what is a cell number where i keeping my cursor a5 so that's why the name box will say where i am keeping suppose if i put a4 it's a name box this is called my formula bar in the formula bar also i can go on type or directly i can type both this is called formula bar this is called name box the name box will show which cell i am having each one is called cell which one is called what cell this is what the first question second question what is the second question they say second question is this one your second question second question they are saying add text the cell a4 to f4 this is called range a4 colon f4 means that is called range so what we do is here we can see a4 a4 is what here a4 to f4 so f4 here up to this correct or not a4 to f4 i want to do what wrap text here already this is wrap text means suppose my column is very small my column size is very small think that width is very small so it is automatically wrap then i make it then i will show it then you can receive a click here wrap text can see it adjusts it will adjust in the column bit that adjust within the column that is called the wrap text so this is called the second question third question what is second 
using autofill place number starting 1351 to n numbers the first worker name to the last worker name using autofill what we do so here you can go 1351 in the numbers the worker name to the last worker name. so what is the meaning using autofill that is very important point 1351 i will type 1351 here understood whatever you are typing it is automatically available in the formula autofill means select the cell keep the cursor always here can you see he is your cursor here it will come plus mark it will come plus mark if you autofill only this number will appear you never get n numbers increment number if you click this one what we want to do is delete everything i want how i want 1351 next to 1352 53 54 55 56 like this i want to do like this how i do it select this one keep your cursor here please plus mark is coming press control always press control keep cursor control in your finger should be in the control in your keyboard continuously drag it this is called dragging so this one it is auto fill automatically filling increment number clear or not this is a second question third one the third question is over type total in the cell a11 a11 i want to type total where is a11 here total okay. this is my one total i want what is the next question insert blank row between abdullah row and row 10 and the total row i want to insert one row because i want to give gap here abdullah row and this row i want to insert it select this row row mean always go and select 11 no here select insert automatically before always before one blank will come clear or not select again i will delete and show it i will delete delete the row again i will select right click insert automatically one row will appear so total will come in the next row this is called insert the blank next one insert blank column after total p column and f4 type total deduction so what is the first two information i want to do first i want to insert blank column total p so before uh, after total p after total p means what i will do here is after total p means select this column because automatically it will insert before after total p so don't select total p here if you select total p it will give before the column so select this column this is what you want this is very important one so whenever they say means next one you select so go and insert here itself you can insert insert one column automatically so it become automatically after total p understood if i select like this if i select like this what will happen before you become it is wrong so i will delete this one so after this one now you select clear or not so again i will do it i will select this one select column insert it will come like this correct or not what is they said the question and type total deductions you can type or otherwise you can copy this one and you can paste it also any method you can follow so here go on paste it. here go on paste it this is also another method you can total correct or not total deduction so we can do it clear this is what everyone understood save the file file save or file savers in the savers file you can so this is what the method so how many questions are over six questions type comment remark hide show in cell number h4 i4 j4 k4 so what is the comment so h4 comment next one what is coming remarks and hide remarks hide what is other one show clear or not this what is it? everything finish this is another question another question number 7 this is very very important merge and center the cell a1 to f1 see this is a range a1 to f1 you should select a1 to f1 a1 is where here you see a1 is coming a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 a1 to f1 correct i selected now you can see merge center click here click here that's all 
if you want to click merge only means here is lot of things are to merge cells and merge and uh, merge across everything is there. merge center means go and just click this this picture not selected same thing i will repeat here you see a2 to f2 again select individually select a2 b2 c2 d2 e2 f2 clear now go and click that's all finish so merge and center this is which menu is there home menu understood this is what we get next question what is the next question next question is eighth question is over ninth question format the cell range a1 to h1 a2 to h2 font size is 16 one by one is a1 to h1 a2 to h2 so what we do is a1 to h1 here is a1 to h1 a2 to h2 so a1 to h2 same all font what is the font name font name is 16 size font name is the home so what i do i will go and select here here is the select the font maybe you can type t in the keyboard automatically it will come you see automatically it will appear 12 16 size is 16 16 otherwise you can select like this here also go and select here 16 you can select any method is correct so you can see here you can see t i am selecting this is what my font enter enter press enter that's all finished this one and fill color orange and outside border double line purple color so fill color orange how you fill the color here i want to fill the color you see here fill color orange here you see this is orange this is yellow clear orange so fill the color orange everyone understood this is what here you see i i want to set here outside border here you see in the question paper question paper very nice outside border double line purple color you see here outside border i will select outside border so where is outside border go here here you see bot bottom border so select this one outside border clear outside border i will say what is my line color purple clear what is my line style you see here same place i am going first i am saying outside border line color line style line style is double line if you select automatically can you see it become like a pen so you click here purple click here purple here click everything is coming like this yes. so this what it will come so i don't want this one means escape key automatically that pen will go clear and again i will show you go here line color line style line style i select this one So now again pen here I want to do it. You see here, here one place is missing. I will select it. Clear. Now I don't want pen. Give escape key. Press escape key. Automatically it become normal. This is outside border. I put purple. Clear. So this is what the next one. So this is ninth question. Ten questions we do. After that, if possible, thirteen uh, to fourteen questions we do. First one we do. Format all data column hours work with a number. having four decimal places so hours worked how i do hours worked i do four decimal places clear or not maybe either i can go like this or format cell i can do. both methods are correct here you can see click number clear or not four decimal places 1 2 3 4 can you see four decimal places always go positive clear number like this this is one method another method is right click format cell here also you can see so both the methods are correct only so either you can go here number here can you see here click this arrow mark click number see number four decimal places select this one this is a question this is which question question number 10 using conditional formatting highlight the cell of hours worked column with greater than or equal to 35 green fill with dark green text what is conditional formatting first we see the conditional formatting conditional formatting is like this you see here what is the which column they given that we see column is they are giving as hours worked so hours worked column we want to do the conditional formatting what is my condition condition is greater than or equal to 
clear or not? Greater than or equal to? I want to do. So, conditional format. You can go. Greater than or equal to. You see, greater than is there, equal is something. So, I want more rules. I will go. First, again, sky. Again, I will show you. First, to select this one. Select. Step number one. Step number two. Step number three. Go here. More rules. Correct or not? More rules. Greater than or equal to 35. Okay, this is what my question. What is my question? 35. Green fill with a dark green text. Green fill. Dark green text. Format. Go here. Format. Green fill. Color. Green. No, here. Dark green text. Dark green text. Here. You can go. Dark green text. Fill. See here. Fill. Fill is green. This is my time. Can you see? This is my time. So again I will show you, select point number 1, point number 2, point number 3, more rules, here greater than or equal to 35, I will give format, what I did, here fill, fill is green color, I did green color, font is here I went what, I went and taken dark red, dark text, that is why font, I selected ok, ok, Clear or not? This is a method we do conditional format. So, next question. Next question is what? Chart the cell range B4 to H10. The worker name from A to Z. Ascending order, descending order. How I do it? This is what we do. So, ascending order and descending order, we can go here. Worker name, based on worker name. We select from here. Everything is select. Clear or not? Select up to this one. So, how it is given? Up to H10. H10 they given. So, here select up to HH10 here. Clear or not? Go here, chart and filter. Here, custom chart. Better go custom chart. Which column I want to do it? Worker name. You see, worker name. A to Z. If you want descending order, Z to E. Clear or not? Which column you want? The question paper it is asked at what? The exercise. Worker name. That's why worker name we are doing. Clear? Why we are doing worker name? So, again I will do select this one chart custom chart or a to z here itself you can do nothing is wrong but better go custom chart select worker name a to z you see w is last which will come first a b like this so now you can see it is easy according to value also change can you see according to now one three five six become up so this is another method what is the next method next method is apply Center horizontal alignment to all data in A5 to H15. This is so center horizontal alignment. Where is alignment? Can you see here alignment? This one. So select everything. I will select up to H. Hmm? Everything 15. I will select because they ask H15. That's why alignment. Can you see alignment here? Arrow mark. Click horizontal center. You see horizontal center. Vertical center means we do vertical center. Here, as per our thing, what is asked? Center horizontal. That's what we ask. So, we do center horizontal. Clear? We, again, I will repeat. See your arrow marks. First, to select. Always you should select first. Step number two. Select here. Alignment. All are format cell. Format cell, how you did this one? The same as the format cell. Horizontal center. Either you can go or you can go like this also. Select format cell. That also you can go on. Both are same. So, this is the same. Read it. Everything center. Can you see? What is the last question? Hide the column I and G. Hide the column I and G. How you hide? You see here. Hide. Select. Select. Control. Press control and select G. Both the columns. Or individually you can select. Select J I. Press control in the keyboard. J. Right click. Hide. Hide means it will come. If I want to unhide, what I do? Select here unhide it. It is coming. So, again hide it. Select the column. Select the column. Press here. Go and I press control and press G. Two columns you can select. Right click. Hide. This is end of your base. Excel base. Next tutorial. Next tutorial we see what is called intermediate function.